वेलकम बैक टू हसीब इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फ्रेंड्स इन द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ आवर दिस वीडियोस फॉर सोनी एडीपी 200 ईआर आई डिस्कस्ड द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ दिस बोर्ड रेक्टिफायर पीएफसी स्टैंडबाय एंड मेन पावर 12 volt 16 ampere 4.7 volt 4.8 volt 1.5 ampere and today we will discuss as a part 2 of this setup input filter protection circuit and dc bus bridge rectifier circuit next we will discuss pfc and standby section and main power section you can check this video it is a general configuration of this board if you come to this input terminal input connector it is connected at this point two wires now we have to follow these two wires the one wire is going upside here it is a fuse and after passing this fuse our this line is connected at this voltage arrestor and second line is connected to the second point of voltage arrestor so our voltage arrestor is connected at this point and this point 100 to 240 volt fuse mov after passing mov from these two parallel points we have a choke this line came here here is a fuse after fuse voltage arrestor and here we have two capacitors box capacitor 1 and 2 class x capacitors and this line from this filter this side now this line is connected here at this point and this line connected here because we have filter here these are four points 1 2 3 4 these center two points are for bridge rectifier here we have bridge rectifier and in this point if we see here class y capacitor output of the bridge rectifier it is here positive side and the second last end is ground so positive side is connected here from this point to this point here we have ntc come to this point this ntc comes to this point here we have a filter capacitor connected between positive and negative line then this positive voltage will come here at this point to this point from this inductor this pfc choke positive negative we will bring it here pfc coil and here we have resistor in negative line 0.1 ohm from this point we have a jumper inside this one this jumper and then at the same jumper there is a resistor connected at the same point at this point and this this node we are taking a resistor this is the current measurement from this resistor 0.1 ohm resistor the negative line will come here and it will reach to this main bulk capacitor this capacitor this end so negative line from here jumper 0.1 ohm resistor to the capacitor but positive line from here ntc pfc coil choke this point and here we have a rectifier diode this point and then we have bulk capacitor it is 150 micro 450 volt and from this point we have another node this is called pfc 
I am not discussing this point now. Our this circuit will take line and neutral, line neutral fuse. Over voltage protection. If any time any over voltage surge will come, this will make short circuit. So our fuse will burn out. In that case, the next circuit will protect it. Next we have common mode and differential mode protection circuit filters. First coil filters. First stage filter capacitors 0.68 microfarad 275 volt and after that we have a second stage filter we have bridge rectifier then we have our filter capacitor here in the output of the bridge that is here and then we have NTC negative temperature coefficient resistors now these positive voltage and negative voltage are applied here to the PFC coil in normal condition when this PFC circuit we will discuss this point in our next video how this circuit will work normally the voltage will reach here and this voltage will pass to the capacitor main bulk capacitor and this resistor is used to measure the input current the maximum current now the possible faults in this circuit might be this fuse is open due to this circuit this component failure fuse will burn out bridge rectifier failure fuse will burn out or any next circuit failure because this circuit is very perfectly designed might be our PFC circuit is short fuse will burn out this capacitor is bad fuse will burn out our next any circuit power circuit will burn out will make short circuit this will burn out now we will check the voltage I will apply here and we will check voltage I applied at input terminal 115 volt 116 volt and I am taking DC voltage 165 volt here the input is 115 volt input is 115 volt and the output is 165 volt at DC capacitor now I change the input voltage 233 volt so our capacitor is measuring 335 volt our capacitor is showing 336 volt I swap the supply again 115 volt the bulk capacitor is decreasing now in the standby section if I applied 115 volt the output is 4.8 volt I applied 115 volt we can see the DC voltage it is decreasing 100 say up to 60 volt 160 volt even the voltage input voltage of the supply is decreasing the voltage are stable now I will switch this voltage supply to 220 volt we can see the DC level is now 332 volt but these voltage are stable the standby section is giving 5 5 volt 4.8 volt stable even the input voltage is increasing or decreasing but we are taking the regulated output 4.8 volt so standby section will provide a regulated 5 volt regardless of what is the input voltage in next part we will discuss PFC circuit and standby power section I hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative give a thumb up press the like button and if you want 
to watch my future videos and you have not subscribed my channel yet subscribe it thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh